Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we'll be comparing two of the most popular digital tools used for motion graphics and visual effects, After Effects and Blender. Both of these programs have their own strengths and weaknesses, and it can be difficult to determine which one is the best for your needs. So, let's dive in and compare the two. Overview After Effects is a professional video editing software developed by Adobe and is widely used in the film and video production industry. It has a powerful interface that makes it easy to create stunning visual effects and animations. Blender, on the other hand, is a free and open source 3D animation software that has gained popularity among artists and studios due to its versatility and affordability. It has a vast set of tools for 3D modeling, animation, and compositing that can compete with the industry's leading software. Key Features After Effects is well known for its ease of use, especially when it comes to creating motion graphics and visual effects. It has a large library of pre-built effects, tools for keyframe animation, and a strong integration with other Adobe products, like Photoshop and Premiere Pro. Blender, on the other hand, excels in 3D modeling, rigging, and animation. It has a robust set of tools for character animation, physics simulation, and camera tracking, and it offers a wide range of options for 3D rendering. Cost and Accessibility After Effects is part of Adobe's Creative Cloud Suite and requires a monthly subscription to access. This can be a drawback for some users who are looking for a more affordable option. Blender, being open source, is completely free to use, and it is available on multiple platforms, including Windows, Mac, and Linux. This makes it a more accessible option for users who are on a budget or who prefer to use open source software. Conclusion After Effects and Blender both have their own strengths and weaknesses, and the best software for you will depend on your specific needs and workflow. After Effects is a great choice for motion graphics and visual effects, while Blender is a more versatile option for 3D modeling, animation, and compositing. So, whether you are a professional VFX artist or just starting out, both of these programs are definitely worth exploring. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content like this. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and leave us a comment with your thoughts on After Effects and Blender. Until next time, take care.